going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I don't know if you've heard, but Slipknot and Jay Weinberg, they are on the rocks right now. Who knows what's happening? Jay Weinberg could be leaving. They posted about it, then they took it down. We don't even know what's happening. In the heavy metal sphere, there's a bunch of nonsense, or maybe not, I don't I don't know. We'll judge for ourselves. If El Estaparillo Siberiano is in fact the new drummer of Slipknot. Think about it. So that's what we're here to decide today. He posted a video saying Slipknot just fired their drummer, and the thumbnail of this video showed, did they call him? Well, let's find out. It's gonna be intriguing! Hey guys, how are you doing? Okay, I got big news, devastating news. News that I don't quite understand. I don't understand anything. This past week was crazy, a lot of crazy things happening. It looks like we're in the Bible and the end is pretty fucking near. And actually, <laughs> actually war, you know? So yeah, maybe the end is near. The threat of a nuclear war is still very present. Oh. And that war... He's actually talking about real shit. Yeah, I mean, talking about the whole... Israeli-Palestinian conflict, I mean, that's something we're not even gonna get into, but the world is at a serious, seriously a weird spot right now. It's scary. So let's let's continue. My cockles, but we are not here to talk about my cockles. We are here to talk about Slipknot. Yesterday I was playing Warzone, of course, losing again and again and again because it is impossible to play with these Korean kids. And then my phone <laughs> started ringing. When this thing gets active, it's like, <laughs> And I started receiving messages on WhatsApp, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitch, comments on YouTube, all my friends calling. And I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? So I stopped everything and I opened Instagram to read all of those messages. And I'm telling you, I'm not exaggerating. I got thousands of them. And they were all saying the same thing. Oh my man, are you joining us, Libnot? Are you the new drummer? Uh, what the fuck? I like your funny words, magic man. <laughs> so I opened my feed and the first post that... I Think about that. If El Estaparillo Siberiano was in fact the new drummer, from a publicity standpoint, it would be the greatest thing for Slipknot in my mind. I mean, you guys tell me if I'm wrong or not. And what mask would he have? Yeah, that's a great question. I'm not sure. I think that he should have a mask with a dildo protruding from the forehead because he's literally gonna fuck everybody in the crowd. It's gonna be fantastic. How poppin' El Estaparillo Siberiano is, it would be, a pretty good play, right? Like, I'm not sure. It would be astronomically big. Like, the biggest news ever. Oh my God. And then there would be a whole debate about Jay Weinberg versus El Estaparillo Siberiano's skill level. Who's the better drummer? Chat, what do you have to say? Also, I say chat because we're streaming on Twitch right now because that's the way it is. So, I mean, it would just be absolutely bonkers, dude. It would be badass to be frank, insanely talented. He's great, and he hates the word talented too, right? He's not talented, he's, in, in my mind he is, but he's all, he's the most hardworking guy ever. So when you have, whenever you have that combination of talent and hard work and you jaspersize it, you get El Estaparillo Siberiano, and it's it's a beautiful thing. Pierce is from Slipknot, actually, and that's the tricky thing. That post does not exist anymore, so I'm doing this video because there are a lot of mysteries that need to be solved. Because right. Slipknot, as you know, is my favorite band, and it had Joey, who was my favorite drummer. I've done reactions of him. I've done reactions on Jay. You haven't seen them. You got him right there. I'm comparing both of these talents. I love how they work. I love Slipknot. I love everything. So I proceed to read the post from Slipknot, which by the way, as I said, doesn't exist anymore. And the post goes like this. Screenshot, baby. We would like to thank Jay Wimber for his dedication and passion over the past 10 years. No one can ever replace Joey Jordison's original sound, style, or energy, but Jay honored Joey's parts and contributed to the last three albums. This is the tricky part that I don't really get. The band has decided to make a creative decision and to part ways with Jay. So if you take all the dust... Bullshit. What is the creative decision to do it? How could you creatively decide, yeah, we're gonna get rid of Metal Drummer of the Year? What? It's bullshit. Everybody sees through it. It's not a creative decision unless, like, you know, Jay wanted to go and do his own thing start a family, whatever, and wasn't going to be as involved in the writing process, and then creatively, I guess, that's the decision, but it just doesn't make sense. The way it's worded, I don't like it. Whatever. 
from that sentence you get the band has decided to part ways with Jay. We wish Jay all the best and we are very excited. Now, this doesn't exist anymore. Actually, right. in order to find it, the only thing that you can do is go to the original website from Slipknot because somehow they forgot to erase it or maybe it's intentional. I don't quite No get way. This. However, no way. No, I don't see it. News, it would probably be right there. Nah, they took it down. So they did take it down from the website. Okay. However, I'm guessing, and that's just my opinion, this whole video, by the way, is just going to be based on my opinion. So I'm making this video not only to tell you my opinion, so you can tell me yours, possible replacements, whatever. I want you writing down everything in there because I want to know we are 3 million. Come on, guys, help me. I think they actually erased that because I don't think it was seen as a good gesture by the community. People always... Oh, yeah, no shit. Marvel giant ending but the thing is it's never like that and the Slipknot is not only a massive band but also a massive business and if they decide good point. ways it goes like that it doesn't matter the show must go on right did they do anything wrong because they said it on a post that they deleted minutes after I don't know what are we expecting what are we looking for a press conference a long video I don't know I think those things are said in private and judging by the words that are used here, that doesn't look like something spontaneous. They've been touring the world for 10 years. It's been a decade. He's been recording albums. He's been touring for a decade with the guys. They must be pretty good friends. And if they're not pretty good friends, at least they must know each other very, very well. So and the fact that Jay Weinberg is the biggest fucking Slipknot fan ever. In my mind, okay, now I don't know if this would be the greatest thing that I'm looking for, right? But I'm thinking, if in fact, they did want to part ways with Jay Weinberg, the best way to do that would not be a little Instagram post that's like, yeah, creatively we decided to go another way, wish him the best, thanks for the 10 years, it would be like, that's like, it's almost disrespectful to me, which is probably why they took it down because a lot of people, a lot of maggots probably felt that way. They were like, what the fuck? Metal drummer of the year? What are you doing? Why is this happening? If I were to see a departure post, a departure type piece of content about Jay Weinberg leaving the band, it would be, it would be a little history of Joey. Paying homage to Joey, nice rest in peace segment. It would be Joey is forever missed, forever loved, and irreplaceable. And then it would be the transition period to Jay, okay? And then it would show just like this really wholesome, badass fucking take over, like passing the baton to Jay of him playing shows and doing a bunch of awesome things with the band and this like enormous thank you video. That's what I would anticipate. I would still be heartbroken, but that's kind of what I would anticipate. So for me, <laughs> why are you angry? Because I don't know what's happening. That's why I'm angry. Um, you know, there's that. I don't know. I want things to be the way they were. Okay? So all those kind of things are said in private. And I'll right. give you that's an a good point. Last week, Matthew Perry died. No one from the original cast of Friends said anything on Instagram. Those people understand that reality is not on Instagram. I bet they were talking to each other. I bet they all met. I bet they all grieve together. But that's not something you want to do on Instagram. And it's the same thing here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter what we think. What matters is what they think. Thing. And I don't know, I have a feeling that they talked a lot about this and there are a lot of different possibilities that I want to read because of course I don't know all of them. But in my opinion, if there's a creative decision, maybe he was not a good fit anymore for whatever is coming, which thrills me a lot actually because that's the Slipknot is going to change. Obviously the new material that was coming up was very different from what they did in the beginning, but I really liked it and I saw them perform four months ago. I saw Oh, Jay, I saw him playing. Man, it was good. I've been reading a lot of comments of people throwing hate at the guy. Of course, he left. He couldn't play for shit. Shut the fuck up. That's not true. I saw yeah. him. I am a good critic. Though. Is there anybody that really says Jay can't play worse shit? I don't get people. If anyone actually said that, I'd be like, dude, you're a fucking moron. No, not at all for real. <laughs> Those people need their ears checked. 100%. 
Because it doesn't make any damn sense. I can't play it. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. So what he said about Matthew Perry, first of all, rest in peace. Friends is one of my all-time favorite shows. It's literally one of the shows that when something tragic happens in my life, I turn it on because it's like comfort food for me. It's a way for me to feel happy, uplifted, positive. It's extremely unfortunate that Matthew Perry can't even watch Friends back because it takes him back to the time when he was riddled with addiction in his life. That being said, I, I would like to buy Matthew Perry's book and read it, the audio book, because it's narrated by him. Definitely not a sponsor post. Wish it was, but uh, I think we should all go check out Matthew Perry's book. That being said, great analogy for all the Friends cast not covering that on social media. That being said, what they did is they collectively came together and put out a very wholesome, very well put together message to the fans saying, hey, we're going to take this time to grieve together. We're going to take this time to allow Matthew's family to grieve and we will be back to, to send a message to everybody out there. And that was just a little touch base with the community, with the fans, because I'm sorry, but as someone who has put together this cult fan base, whether it's the Friends fan base or whether it's the Slipknot fan base, the fans, the maggots, the Friends fanatics, the, the community that they've created are now part of the family. And although we are not privy to everything that goes on behind closed doors, and I'm not saying that we are, but we are awarded some type of touch base, in my opinion, which is, hey, there's something going on with all of us. And I think that if they planned out something, they should have put a met. They, it, it, it should not. I don't know what it should have been, but it should not have been a message that was, hey, we're parting ways, and then 15 minutes after hundreds of thousands of likes and shit going on in comments, they remove it. In my mind, that's not the way to do it. Um, in my mind, you, if you think about it, it's either, it's worst case, it's like both are bad situations. Either it was a sporadic decision, which is, it should not have been, and that's a bad decision, or it was just not a well-crafted message, but I think it should have been handled much differently. If it is the case that Jay is being released from the band, it should have just been more carefully crafted because I don't know, I just feel like they are at such an interesting time in their career because they're so established, but a lot of people, and people are going to talk shit regardless. Slipknot's one of the bands that are, is so huge, people are going to find something wrong. I don't know what I'm saying. I guess they could have handled it differently. They should hire me as their PR guy. Just kidding, that'd be awful. They should definitely not do that. Do not hire me at all. Not that they would. But don't. Let's go. Believe me, please. I've been doing this for years. It was very good. He's an awesome player. He's good. He's playing live and he's doing everything. His endurance is out of this world. He has feeling. He has everything. And it was a good fit. And that's why I feel so weird. I just don't understand this. I want to believe that there is something out there that we don't know and probably will never know that determines this fucking change because I don't understand. So the first thing, I want to interview Jay, okay? Please message the guy. Just write it down. I want to get to the bottom of this. If he lets me. If I had to make a wild guess, I think I know Jay. I've been following him for a while and to me, he looks like a very honest man and he looks like a family man. And I know he got married and I know he's a great husband and I know they look very happy. So if you ask me, I think he's waiting for a baby. Maybe I'm totally out of line, but I <laughs> think he's waiting for a baby. For real. I think there's something in his life that has motivated all of this change. But obviously, for obvious reasons, the band cannot just say it like that like okay we don't have a drummer anymore because he wants to form a family it would make sense to me to have something why could you not more important that could you not say that could you not say hey jay want like in my mind it's like honest honesty and being up front hey jay wants to start a family he wants to make a little maggot let's give him let's thank him for all of the things that he if Jay didn't and it publicly posted, no, they couldn't. Oh, I guess if he didn't want that information out there. Fair enough, but still, it's just like, I don't know. If I were running the band, I'd be like, honesty is a pretty good metric for society. The details don't really matter. They really aren't any of our business, no matter how big of a fan you are. That's true, and I, I agree with that. Um, well, 
and a bath because in the end it's successful of course but it, it is just that and that's another thing that you must understand in order to think about the whole situation to all of us it looks like okay it's crazy oh, massive project yeah once you're inside for 10 years ah no it's not like oh Corey Taylor it's your buddy it's not like oh Slipknot they are your band you know it's like your friend family so we need to keep that in mind oh friends okay to understand oh. everything that's going on yeah that being said to the thousands and thousands of people that ask me are you going to be the next drummer for Slipknot bitch no 90% <laughs> of the hate that I get no! comes from people saying that I can do everything and to be honest those words never came out of my mouth I am not the best drummer in the world like a bunch of comments say like all the people doing reactions say I'm not even the best hey! he talking shit to me let me defend myself by saying it's an opinion based game no <laughs> All the reactions, greatest drummer in the world. I have countless of those. I don't know. And it's an opinion. And I've never seen anybody play one-handed the way he does. I've never seen anybody showcase the skills that he has. But that being said, I am somebody who does not understand drumming for real. So seeing something like that, uh, I don't think it's too far off to say he's one of the greatest at what he does. He's humble. I'll give him that. But in my opinion, he's one of, if not the best. Plus, what are you going to title a YouTube video? You're going to say, El Estaparillo Siberiano, perhaps, maybe, in my opinion, could potentially be one of the greatest drummers. Maybe besides Neil Peart. Maybe, maybe not including, it's got, it's, a, it's YouTube. It's a title. It's got to be punchy. It's got to be within the, the character limit. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a Darwin. And I sincerely doubt that they would call somebody like me. Uh, when the band was formed, I wasn't even born. I don't have the knowledge or the experience to be on a band such as Slipknot. And again, I hope I'm wrong. I, I, don't I feel like he does. Consider me for that position. I feel like they should consider him. And I feel like he has the necessary skill. Am I crazy? I don't know. You guys tell me. I mean clickbait for the win if you are gonna clickbait then clickbait go big uh clickbait dude it's such an interesting topic in my mind and this is nothing to do with anything really but clickbait is like if i were making a video about cars and then i'm like big boobs big giant voluptuous boobs and i title it that and then you click on the video it's about cars but if we don't, if I don't know if Sli if El Estaparillo Siberiano is the drummer of Slipknot or if he was called, is it clickbait to type, is El Estaparillo Siberiano the new Slipknot drummer? Or is that a genuine question I have? I don't know. We're getting into semantics and bullshit and YouTube out theories and all sorts of stuff, so it doesn't necessarily matter. However, I think, and hopefully they will see this video, I think they should call Eloy Casagrande. You know Eloy Casagrande. He's the drummer for Sepultura. I've done videos oh. on him. If you don't know him and you want to know him, I'm going to leave you the link to my reaction. I do I'm want to know him. My reaction, he's playing a Slipknot, and I've never in my entire life seen anyone playing a sleep note like that as you know i consider him to be the best metal drummer alive this is just my opinion Eloy <laughs> Casagrande. the best metal drummer in the world you see that how are you gonna tell people not to put greatest drummer alive for you and you do it for someone else it's the same shit oh my gosh <laughs> that makes me feel better about myself i felt like he was singling me out i don't know but the fact that he titled one of his videos like that, that's funny. The fact that he's just too humble and he's such a nice guy, I agree. Would be the perfect fit for a slim nut. I should have asked him before recording this video. I would say Eloy, there's no one on planet Earth that can play metal like Eloy does. To me, feels pretty close to the way Joey would approach a slim nut. That's wow. my bet. I want your bets on the comments. I need to, I need to react to that guy then, videos. don't I? Okay, guys. Which of course depends because they are looking for a creative change. So what the fuck? Maybe they start doing green core or pop. You never know. No, pop. Sour is doing pretty great, and it's not new metal. It's Imagine Slipknot turns pop. What they would do? They start putting songs out with Justin Bieber and fucking Selena. Go Actually, that dude. Actually, let me think about that for a quick second. If that would be the greatest thing ever, or that would be the shittiest thing. I think that the the end product would be so good, but. But I think the cult fan base that Slipknot has created would be so fucking pissed that it would it would it would 
break the fan base in half and it would create this new Slipknot pop fan base. It would it would be fascinating to watch in like maybe a Black Mirror episode, but something totally different. So maybe they are really looking for a change. I don't know. Maybe they don't have a clue of what the fuck they're going to do next. I know they were touring because I saw them, but I think that tour is over and maybe now they have time to process all the information and to think about what their next steps are going to be. Maybe we are going to see auditions on the Slipknot and maybe it's going to happen the same thing that happened with Dream Theater. Maybe we are going to see how the best drummers in the world go to a studio to do an audition and try to be a part of the band which by the way would is be great i would love to see that but is that what dream theater did they did like live streams or something where the fans could see imagine if the drummers for slipknot if the fans could see and the maggot community could see the uh, the the candidates and that they and then we could vote imagine the maggots could pick the new drummer that'd be awesome is that the greatest idea ever, or is that a shitty idea? Imagine Slipknot using a Twitch chat poll to decide their next drummer. <laughs> yeah, they would never do that. I know. If they troll, that would be hilarious. Uh, new TV talent show, next Slipknot drummer. That would be insane. That would be so insane, dude. I would love that. I really would, man. But I know Eloy would win, but I would love to see that, for real. And by the way, talking about Dream Theater, a lot of things have happened last week. Mike Pornoy is back on Dream Theater. You know, they gave the old hoo-ha to Mike Mangini, and now Mike Pornoy is back. And I'm just kidding, they, they did it like gentlemen, you know. Oh, thank you so much for doing all of this, but now we're going back to the They original. did? And apparently there are rumors that there's going to be a Metropolis part. I don't know, 15 already? I don't even count them. It's like the final <laughs> fantasy what? video games. They're all good. I don't give a shit. So yeah, I would like to take a moment just to talk about that. Yeah, Mike Porno is back and they're going to release an album and I'm not missing that album for the world. So Mike, Damn. Is, a good Mike is a terrific guy. Mike is a very funny guy, very humble guy. But again, this That'd is- That'd be cool to do a Twitch stream, stream with him I too. I wanted to cover a lot of questions. So no, I am not the next drummer. I, I don't even know. There are going to be auditions. So no, I'm not the next drummer for a slim nut. I don't even know if there is going to be an audition. <laughs> the way- The question is if there were auditions, would you audition? And I think you should. And I think you would make it incredibly far if not be the one that was selected. In my humble opinion, don't know. I don't know. They parted ways with Jay, I don't understand, and it's very mysterious because, as I told you, they have deleted the post. There's no information available anywhere outside. No, I got no fucking idea why they erased it. I think it was because there was a bad response from all the fans all over the world. Yeah, no it was a shit post. Next, I want your opinions on the comments, and of course, if you know anything about auditions, let me know because I want to record that. I want to see that. I want to yes! do something with that. I need to Dude, know. Dude, that would be insane but not least i got no fucking idea of what happened and probably we will never have any fucking idea of what happened because apparently that was the way they chose to say goodbye so if i can find any way to talk to so Jay, is the tour will, over and i will show all of you the video of course i will upload it to this channel but guys right now the future of a slim knot i doubt jay would do any interview on the subject nobody on planet earth knows apart from them True. With all of that being said, thank you so much for staying here and I wanted to take a little minute of your time to say that last week one of my favorite drummers ever, Aaron Spears, uh, passed away. I just wanted to pay my respects to him and to his family. He was one of the best drummers in the history of music. He was an incredible husband, incredible father. I've never met anybody who said anything bad about him and he's no longer with us. Unfortunately, Whoa. he was very young and he left us at an early age and there's nothing we can do about it however i've never seen a response of that magnitude wow. in the drumming community everyone paid their respects to aaron and i wanted to do it myself too so your legacy carries on and that's all that matters that being said take care guys please i hope wow. you're doing great and i really hope to see you all on the next videos stay safe and take care bye so if there were auditions, first of all, I think that he did a great job covering the, su the topic, the subject matter. I love how humble El Estaparillo Siberiano is. He's a kick-ass guy. I hope I can talk to him one time on, on Twitch stream. Maybe y'all should go tag him, tell him that he needs to hop on here, do an interview with us.
And then y'all can ask questions, I can ask questions, we can pick his brain. But he did a fantastic job. And then the question I want to leave you guys with is if Slipknot did auditions, who would you want to see as a candidate for those auditions? And who do you think would be the new Slipknot drummer? Drop your answers down below. And with all that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Peace!